I'm building the ultimate futuristic world. Spanning over 40 million blocks on an entirely custom Minecraft map, I'm going to be supercharging my futuristic series in my most ambitious project ever. I plan on colonising this world and building out the lore for the different factions that inhabit this planet. Each area will have its own distinct style and will push the boundaries of Minecraft building. What's more, this entire world is created to allow a survival experience, and later on I'll be telling you how you can play it yourself. I'll also be starting the first of the settlements to begin populating this world, Lyrax Theta. So what are you waiting for? Strap in and get ready to embark on a journey that will take you to the very edge of your imagination. Let's explore the ultimate futuristic world in Minecraft. First of all, the map. This is all custom generated terrain created on World Painter on a 6400 by 6400 canvas to give an utterly different feel to anything you've experienced in Minecraft. The world has been designed with ores distributed throughout the environment, so if you want to try your hand at survival, you can mine out what you need to build your very own alien world. It contains three distinct continents to explore, each with breathtaking terrain that provides the perfect basis for building immersive areas. The first and largest of these islands in the west of Lyrax Theta is dominated by giant purple mountain ranges, rivers of lava and vast plains filled with mysterious crystal growths. This aesthetic is all based on ideas from my original futuristic series, and I'll be using builds from this world alongside brand new designs to help me create the first of the civilizations, the Aethra. The Aethra are a technologist society who value innovation and progress. They believe that the advancement of technology is the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe. The second continent in the northeast is a frozen tundra with icy peaks and snowy deltas where only the hardiest can survive the harsh conditions. This has led to the evolution of the Frostborn. Able to harness the geothermal energy deep underground, they have developed into a proud and independent people, fiercely determined to maintain their way of life in the frozen desolation. The last of the islands is a severe land in the southeast, with sulfurous rivers and seas from the tectonic activity in the area and huge volcanoes overshadowing the landscape. This is the land of the Moltonites. They have natural talent for metallurgy and weapon crafting, and their society is highly militaristic and warlike. If you want to see the evolution of this world, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, leave me a comment to let me know which of the races you're most excited to see, and like and share to help more people see this epic project. Today I'm starting with a small Aether outpost in a valley between some mountains on the largest island. I pasted in some larger structures from my futuristic series before adding some habitation modules and some brand new wind turbines that I've designed. I terraformed the area and put in some spider crawlers to give some extra life to the build. Both the blank map and updates to this world are available to my patrons, as is the futuristic texture pack that I'm using, so if you'd like to see this map for yourself then follow the link in the description. To allow you to have everything you might need, I've built a research facility in the far northeast of the map for you to discover, stocked with animals, villagers and the plants to help your world develop. There's also a chest at spawn with supplies that you might want to survive the harsh alien environment. So join me again next time as I continue on the journey to create the ultimate futuristic world.